What is up, everybody? This is EnigmaCraft86 coming back at you on Ultimate Alchemy. And, uh, yeah. Not picking up not too far after we left off. I actually have a lot of, uh, iron going on here. And I keep running in the same situation. I want to keep everything compact as possibly can, but I also can't unhook these pipes. So, I did do some research. And a tin ingot can be made very easily by uh, smelting compressed gravel. So, for right now, this can go on top. And let's go ahead and... I think I can just do it too. Yeah, there we go. And now that we got the compressed gravel coming in, we can just sit here and kind of smelt this up real quick and the reason I want to smelt it up is really quite simple there we go got eight of them now I kind of threw that on there I kind of messed up a little bit when I was trying to place something out of curiosity so now we need the crescent hammer we just need four pieces or three pieces of iron there we go. Now I should be able to take that off. Can't break that. That's interesting. Okay. But now I should be able to come out from right here instead of having it here. And I hope this works, actually. Let's go ahead and get our transfer node. Place it there. Now, we should be able to put this here and... There we go. Completely came off. So that's good. That's what I was wanting. There we go. We should start seeing... None of this should be backed up or anything. Oh. Kind of fell. Now, I want to break this. Now, I should be able to put this crafter right here. Put the gravel in here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, I see the flaw. Uh, let's use this. <clears throat> now what we're going to want to do is take this, put it here, and I wonder if we can break this real quick without everything spewing everywhere. Oh yeah, that worked perfect. There we go. Now we should be able to put this here and tell it to make gravel. There we go. Now we're going to want another furnace. Let's get another eight right that. Got ourselves another furnace. Now remember, this is side-oriented, so... We put that there. The gravel has to come out of the top. And we're going to need a little bit more. Uh, I don't think we actually need more chests, but I did it anyways. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a couple of these because we're going through them pretty quickly. Now, if you hit control, it'll do the opposite. So it'll be pushing into there. Put that there, and there we go. Now, I will fix the wiring pretty soon. But I'm just trying to get certain things automated. So we should have 10 coming in here. 
I think we have enough redstone to make a few more transfer nodes. Er, yeah, transfer nodes. What are we missing? Stone. Seriously, I'm missing stone. Bad thing is I can't tell if I'm grabbing one or two of them. Let's go ahead and make a few more of those. That's basically all we have right now. And what I'm going to do, just like the other ones, I'm going to go underneath, hook the transfer node up on the bottom, make a crate or barrel. And place it right in front and go underneath and pipe it over. There we go. Now we have automated iron or tin too. So we got that going for us. Now I do want to get the redstone automated as well, which is actually pretty easy. Uh, go back into it's crafting. We just need a bowl, a lever, which a lever is just cobblestone and stick. So we have a cobblestone right here. But we're going to have to get stick. So we actually cannot do that. Nope. Always forget, do not click with those. So there's our cobblestone, or here's our, we need one for cobblestone, which we don't have any cobblestone on us, and why is our inventory such a mess? Uh, cobblestone. There we go. Now we can take the cobblestone, put it here, let's make a couple of them, and that's where this will go. No. It's not where that will go. Because we need to get sticks. Which really, there is a ton of sticks in there. So I wonder, is there anything on the bottom of this one? Yes, there is. There's tons. Never mind. Never mind. It was worth a shot. Okay. Put that there. And we got our mechanical users, or mechanical crafters. There we go. Put another one here. And this will make sticks. All right. And I guess this one will have a cobblestone next to it. You'll take a stick. And a piece of cobblestone. Making levers. Then the levers will go over here. Go ahead and make a bowl. If I can pick all these chests up, that would be great. Actually, I had one on me. So it was a bowl. Uh, let's double check. A bowl, a lever, which are right here, which need one, and we're going to need those pickaxes, which we could just go like this, and hey, it already has a recipe, so what we're going to have to do is break out from underneath here. And put another mini chest. Now this is just going to be basically, we're going to be automating with the... Oh, dang, that's not where I want it. Right here. With the pickaxes. I'm trying to keep the piping as clean as possible. And... Why are you not working? Oh, maybe I need to put one up in here first. 
Oh, no, I need to put a bowl up in here first. There we go. Now, I should be able to go like that. Take a chest. Get one of these upgrades. And there we go. Should be able to place that there. And there we go. We got redstone. And I'm really not worried too much about the lighting because mobs can't spawn here. Now here comes a funner one. Now what we're going to need is, where's that cobblestone? Let's go ahead and grab a ton of cobblestone. And I want to automate glowstone. Which glowstone is a little different. We're going to have to put that there. Put this here. Put a transfer node on top of this. And a pipe connecting. There we go. Now, I should be able to put a mechanical crafter here to pull the sticks out. Now, I'm going to have to put this here, and I'm going to have to disable this really quickly. Make sure nothing went in there. Good. Oh, wait, no, you have to pull out from the bottom. That's right. I forgot. So let's go ahead and run our piping so I can disable it on the sides I don't want it. Hmm. No, let's not do it that way. Let's go ahead and stick with our tried and true method of... Oh, where'd they all go? Buttons. There they are. Mini chest. I think I lost a transfer node in that process, but oh well. They're really not that hard to make. So I'm not too worried about it. And there we go. We got coal in there. Now since this side's already making sticks, we could actually just go one stick, one piece of charcoal. All right. So we're getting there. And... This one's already making levers. Now, how hard would it be? Maybe if I did this, did this, the putting them in here, it is. Good. That's what I wanted to see. Now, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to get this into here. Oh, no, 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 I got a better idea. All right, let's go ahead and take this one off. Let's put the mechanical crafter here. And I believe it is... Uh, where those levers go? Ah, there they are. One lever. No. I don't need lever, I need torches. That's right, I don't need those. Alright, I need torches, a bowl, and a pickaxe, which will make glowstone. <clears throat> now, just like we did before, over here, we're going to have to make sure that's not messing up. Put that there. Let's go ahead and go down and double check to make sure our work is clean. Good. Everything's not bunched up, so that should do that. Right? Good. We actually have glowstone coming in. And creative wood. Going to make another barrel. So this is a lot of stuff already automated. I mean, we got tin coming in, redstone, glowstone. And all that I don't like is the fact that I can't really get to my gravel. But once this uh, speeds up a little bit, actually, I can do this. 
just make tons of gravel in here. Yeah, look at that. Look how fast that goes, and it's not taking up any energy or anything. Yeah, that's working. So, since we got all that automated, let's go up in the next steps of things. All right? All right, everybody. I think the next thing we need to work on is trying to get some copper. Which copper is actually pretty easy in itself. After I dis detach this. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Should be able to just put this back in here. Yeah, that works. Alright. Copper is made by compressing sand down. I think I just made sandy out of a snad. Okay. There we go. And what you do with that we don't have enough room for all this. Uh, well, wait, wait, wait. No, we do. It's kind of a sneaky little trick. Put that there. Not put that there. Let's go ahead and get another furnace. And I think this will actually pull it all the way across. Yeah, <laughs> I will. That's funny. All right. And... Set a transfer node here, pipe here, detach it from here. And there we go. We got compressed sand coming out there. Now we're going to need to take a pickaxe, which I have a few left. And let's go ahead and actually run the piping for this. So I did find out I can just simply throw my pickaxes that I accidentally made extras of in here. And whenever it gets done, it'll just pretty much go to the next one. There we go. This is where we're going to want that. And let's go ahead and run our piping, which is here. And we will take off this and this goes here which we have to go like that and like that and hopefully there we go we got our copper coming in yeah we're going to be using our sand pretty quickly but hey we got copper in a very, very compact form. I actually kind of like this. I can speed this up and just let it go to town on this. And there we go. We got copper. We got tin. We got redstone. We got glowstone. And we have iron. And technically we have torches. I think the torches are actually being made... As, almost as fast as we can make them. Now, something else I did notice is you can actually make these with gold. I was like, oh, that's actually kind of cool. I could use that. But to make gold, you actually have to make molten gold. And the way you make molten gold is alloying tin and glowstone slush. Basically, you have to heat up glowstone. So we're actually going to have to get into... A little bit of a tinker's construct. So, I don't know if my idea was the best to do it this way. But, is this is not keeping up. I mean, I can stay here and do this for a little bit. And just make tons of it that way. And that might be something we do. Because I almost have a stack. And sand. We still have a little bit of sand. 
We just have a lot of junk on us. So maybe you go here. Get rid of that snad. Come here, sand. And let's go ahead and let's put up a lot of this stuff. Oops, that's not what I was wanting to do. And we can look up seared bricks. Let's make up some uh, grout. Ooh, that's a lot of grout. So, I guess the best thing to do would be just make another furnace. And we can just pipe it in. Let's go ahead and do that over here where there's a little more room. Put that there. Let's go ahead and put the transfer node on here. Infinite wood. Do a reverse transfer node here. Put a chest up here and there we go. Why is that not going in? There we go. Maybe that'll... I had it set wrong. That's sad. Whoa. That is so not what I wanted to happen. There we go. We got a decent amount of tin and copper and everything else. So, well, I could just accelerate one on this real quick. And how about this? I'll do, melt these up real quick and we'll come back. All right, guys, I noticed one thing. I'm actually running out of time and space over here. So I want to see if I can do something. And this would be kind of crazy if this actually works. Put one here, here, and here. Oh, it does work. I'm a little lazy. <laughs> okay, that, that's an understatement. But, now I have infinite of those. I can just sit here. I don't really need these anymore. But, I was also looking with uh, the way this is set up, where am I get lava from? Well, I have to smelt buckets of lava ingredient, which is coal, obsidian, and a bucket. So we're going to have to set up a whole another set of automation over here, which is not bad, but it's going to take me a minute. So, we'll probably pick that up on the next episode. We'll get into the smeltery, and I might expand this out and make it look a little bit better. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe. And give me a thumbs up if I'm doing well on this. Uh, any comments, concerns, or anything else, put down in the comment section down below. And thank you again for watching. And until next time, this is Craft 86 and take it easy, guys. Later.